What's going on Shady People, Shady Penguin here, welcome back to the next episode of Fire Emblem Echoes and today this is going to be kind of weird because I'm actually doing this post. Um, I unfortunately didn't record the audio for this, I somehow forgot to save it while I was doing some bulk recording and I have to go ahead and kind of watch myself play this game. So we're going to jump into this next battle Who goes there? and listen to some people. Haven't you dogs? I ain't no dog! Lesson yet. We're not rebels, we're the deliverance. Everyone with me. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna we're jumping into this battle, and like I said, it's kind of weird. Watch out! That archer is carrying a That's powerful right. bow. We should only send in capable and cautious units to deal with. So him. I'm gonna try my best to to make it as if I'm still playing. So what I want to do? Oh, we have a conversation piece. Nice little support between Gray and Tobin, I believe it is. Long range units approach these enemies with caution. Okay, we know about long range. You need to send your most cautious and defensive units in there. Uh, but I do want to go ahead and get this conversation going. So let's see what uh, Gray and Tobin have to say to each other. But I think first I wanted to trade items. I'm pretty sure whoever has the leather shield, I was trying to give it to uh, Tobin because Tobin's defense was pretty weak. Or Gray. I think I should, no, I was trying to give it to Tobin. So I was going to go ahead and give the leather shield to Tobin to give him more defense because his defense seemed pretty weak. Uh, but that didn't make any sense because honestly, no, I guess I did do that. I just wanted to be on top of him. Okay, cool. Uh, we're going to advance the rest of our units. Besides the conversation piece, I'm pretty sure we're going to try to... Uh, oh, we didn't take that. Okay, we're taking it now. So we're getting our items. I know a lot of you guys are saying in the comment section, make sure you equip your items, get your items. I unfortunately forgot to do it before the battle, but... Uh, I remember to do it mid-battle. Uh, I think that's as far as I can go, and then Gray can meet up, and we can get a little conversation going between Gray and Tobin. Let's see, they have to say to each other. I don't really remember. I think I kind of remember. Hey, Tobe, how it goes? Yeah, well, it goes, I guess. Uh, do you think you could sound a little less cheerful? I don't know. See, Tobin has some. Me. Why did you have to? Huh? Uh, I was really disappointed by this. Forget it. Wait, what did I Tobin doesn't like Gray for some reason, and we don't know why yet, but I guess we're gonna find out as they continue to increase their support. Let's just advance the rest of our units forward. Faye Bay into the woods, because you know what? She deserves the most protection that she can get. And Silk, who's growing on me very quickly. Very quickly she's growing on me. Uh, we're gonna bring her up as well. We bring the rest of our units up. I kinda wanna keep working on Cliff and, and Tobin's support, so I'm gonna keep them next to each other. Uh, and bring up Lucas. Lucas has got some nice defense, so we don't really got to worry about it. Everyone else seems pretty good. Right now, Alm and Faye are going to be taking the hits. Uh, Alm, getting the first shot in. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. There we go. Easy peasy. 16 damage for only taking four. Beautiful. It's funny because I'm actually watching myself because I'm watching myself cast. It's weird. It's weird stuff. There's no audio, though. Okay. Uh, Alm can't finish you off. Tobin can't finish you off. Can Nosferatu finish you off? Nope, it leaves you at two as well. Are we gonna try it? Uh, it doesn't cost anything, which is great, and it restores HP, so it perfectly balances out her healing uh, spells and how much they cost. We're gonna go with Tobin, who's gonna, of course, miss one! Letting us down, Tobin. But it's okay, because now Nosferatu should be able to pick up the knockout if we the kill, if we can uh, hit, but of course we can't. We're gonna miss. 60% chance to hit. We don't land it. That's it. Lucas, just, I'm tired of this man standing here. Let's just go for the guaranteed, basically guaranteed death. Easy. Easy and simple when you rely on Lucas. Uh, let's go ahead and bring Gray up. Gray is currently one of my favorite characters uh, at the time of recording this. I mean, he was, he was always one of my favorites from the beginning. I love this personality. Cliff is growing on me super hard. I'm pretty sure I end up opting to go with Cliff and just wreck this man's face, but I don't exactly remember. I did record this yesterday. Uh, now we're gonna let Alm go up. No, we're not. We're gonna let uh, Faye go up. Deal, deal eight damage. No, we're not. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Gray, can you just do it? Shady, what are you doing? Hey, Shady. Uh, so I didn't give Gray the Iron Sword. I gave it to Alm. Uh, and you guys will see later in this episode what I end up doing. Alm's gonna go ahead and still can't finish this man off. But I'm pretty sure at this point, screw it. Let's do it. Uh, we don't crit. We're not about that crit life right now. Maybe someday. Maybe someday we'll be Mr. Crit. Right now we're Mr. Dodge. Let's let Cliff come in and just show off unnecessarily overkill. Very amusing. Literal overkill. And we'll let Faye come through uh, and probably stand next to Alm because why the heck not? Really no reason. He's in line of sight to get hit. This way their, their support can kind of grow a bit. Ooh, six damage. But we dodge those. Only 55% chance to hit. Uh, and the enemy made like very little advancement. Uh, so I kind of want to bring 
uh, Tobin up to take care of that other archer just to see how much damage we could do. We deal 12 if we hit both of them, which is pretty good because we only take five. We only take five, but at the same time, uh, Cliff might be able to do a better job. Black magic can reach, uh, or can't reach rather. So you end up opting to say, hey, forget it. We can't hit him. Our range is not long enough. Maybe a new spell will go ahead and be long enough. Uh, so we're probably gonna have to go with Tobin and just deal the double damage at some point. I'm not sure exactly when. For now, let's send Alm out and deal some fat 16s to the Zofian army. Uh, like I said, I think I'm gonna have to go with Tobin. It's the only logical explanation. We'll bring Lucas up because he's fat defense, so it doesn't matter. Gray can come through. I really, uh, I really want Gray to get some spotlight. In this episode, I kept talking about how much I love Gray, how much I love Gray. Looks like we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use Cliff to take out this Zofian army member once again. Simple and easy. Like 11 damage clean, 90% chance to hit every single time. The hit does not change. Uh, and we're gonna bring Tobin here, which is pretty dangerous because there's, there's another army member right there if this guy lands. Which he does land a fiver, but we land both of our sixes at 58%. That's pretty tight. Uh, let's go, let's go with, yeah, let's go with, mm, I don't know. It's not gonna be able to take you out. I'm not sure if I want to do that. Let's see how much Gray does. Gray does about the same. This, this member is pretty freaking strong. His defense is pretty high. Uh, we still have Silk all the way back here, so let's grab her, and why don't we heal up Gray? Uh, might as well do something. This music always freaks me out. It's very creepy. Very weird. Um, at this point, I think that we're going to go ahead and let Faye take on this soldier from what I remember. Or we're just going to end our turn. We're going to let him attack, which I like doing, but at the same time, I, I should have blocked him off from Tobin. Um, so Cliff's going to have to take seven from that long range, and it looks like just going to target down the girl. Big mistake. Big mistake with that crit. 12 damage. Still not a crazy amount, honestly. But it's all good. Uh, at this point, there's pretty much no doubt in my mind that um, that archer is going to get taken out, whether it's by Cliff or Tobin. I was checking to see if Nosferatu can go ahead and take out this this Zofian army member, but it couldn't. So we're going to let Gray do the first beginning damage, bring him down to two, and then all Silk has to do is connect with Nosferatu. And we'll be good to go, and she can gain a fat level. But of course, the miss. I actually remembered that because it was painful. It was pretty painful. Uh, let's see if Cliff can just finish off this archer. Uh, apparently not. We're gonna go. We're gonna go with Tobin finishing it off. I guess because Cliff's already gotten so much love, we can go ahead and let Tobin be Mr. Dodge and Mr. Crit. Doctor Crit and Mr. Dodge in the same person. That doesn't make sense. Getting that level up too. Very nice, Tobin. Very nice. Never mind. I take that back. I take back every very nice I said about you. HP plus one. That's it. But we do get the steel bow. So I meant to keep the steel bow, but I actually send the steel bow back and keep the leather shield, which is unfortunate. Uh, definitely unfortunate, but it's all good in the hood. Let's go ahead and probably use Faye, because we're in love with Faye, to take out the rest of this soldier. Plus, he initiated the attack on her. He needs to be punished by her. I'll be punished by her. All right, so there's only two enemies left, and I think we're just going to end up rallying our troops near each other and then ending our turn. We'll let Lucas be in harm's way trying to bait out an enemy, and we do. We bait out the, the leader, which I didn't expect. We miss our second one, but we get six damage off. Uh, the Zofian army lead leader, quote unquote, he has the shield next, so I might just call him the leader. We're going to go ahead and let uh, Silk gain some more experience, since we're right near the end of the battle anyway. doesn't really matter if she's paying HP. Level up! Going to grow to level two. I feel the light of Mila's blessing. She gained three stats at least, putting Tobin to shame. Uh, Tobin won't be able to connect. Uh, we'll be able to connect from that side, just not the other side. So we can deal eight damage. And right now we're looking to trade, I guess because I realized, oh wait... I didn't grab the right item, but I think I just let go of that thought and go for the attack anyway. Uh, we have a 55% chance, and we miss one, but land the other. Very good, Tobin. One for two ain't too terrible. It's pretty bad, but it ain't too terrible. Let's go with Lucas and bring him down to four. Very freaking nice. But we, we don't bring him down to four because we miss one again. This, this area is just too strong, so I say, you know what? Screw it. Cliff, come in, and you don't care where they're standing. You have a 90% chance to hit every single time. My turn! And there we go. Down goes the Zofian army leader. And we gain two. Huh, not not the best, but two is better than one. Two is better than one. I don't really know how to bait out this guy. I didn't, it took me a while to realize that those are actually walls. Um, and we do have to kill him. So I eventually realized, hey, wait a minute. 
Those are walls. Let's go ahead and use our magic or our archer to take him out, but not before getting Silk even a little bit more experience because it doesn't matter at this point. That ex the, the HP grinding is all that matters. This is where I realized, oh, wait a minute, there's walls there. I have to attack him. Or I have to go all the way around. But attacking him seemed faster at the time, although we only have a 30% chance to hit. So we missed them both. But we did unlock the swap combat art, which I don't check right away because I'm an ignorant fool. But when I do check it, I say, hey, that's a really good, that's a really good art. Uh, and I'm reading about the arts. These combat arts related form powerful techniques at the cost of HP. So... If, if a unit can use it when you drop them off, as if you're like, how I'm gonna do right here, and it, arts will be one of the menu options. Uh, which I don't actually check, I don't even think until the next episode, which is crazy. Uh, well, let's let Cliff go in. I think we have to go in with Cliff. Do we realize this? I, I realize it right now. I don't, I don't realize it. I say, you know what, we're gonna let Tobin really try his hardest. Now I think I finally realized they're walls. Duh. So let's get, uh, let's get out of the woods and see if we can connect any of these 30%. We actually do connect one of them, which is, yeah, it makes sense. We connected one out of four. Uh, so we probably connect one of the other ones, but instead we're just gonna go in with Lucas. I'm with Cliff and Cliff has, oh, look at that. Ridiculous, man. Cliff is, Cliff is like, I want Gray to have the limelight, but Cliff is just so good. Cliff is so, look at that. Four, four out of the seven goes to Cliff's Hands. Unbelievable. We did it. The outpost is ours. Thank you, my brave friends. Thank you for everything. I know that my fallen comrades would say the same. Oh, Lucas, I'm so sorry. But we'll have time to mourn later. Right now, we must find Lady Claire. She must be somewhere inside the outpost. So thank you guys so much for understanding. I know that this commentary might be a little bit more sloppy because I'm not doing my moves live. Uh, but this is not the norm. This is not the norm. If this is like the first episode you're catching, trust me, go go back and watch another one. Something I did remember though, was that in the last episode, we picked up the Ram Wine. You can see that Faye's holding it and it's grayed out so you can't use it. And I remembered that that old man was asking for wine. Like once I saw the grayed out in between episodes, it's like, oh, wait a minute. Maybe, maybe I can just go give that to this old man. So what I do is I end up equipping all my items by going with auto. You guys can see the gray has the leather shield right now. Uh, everyone has an orange. I had to store that wine so that I can give it away. Tobin with the steel bow, five stars on that on that item. Uh, we end up giving the, the we end up giving the leather shield to Lucas. I think because Gray had already learned the combat art swap, and I wanted to get as many people to learn it. I know that you have to have the item equipped, but I figured, hey, let's just go ahead and swap it out real quick. We head back to town so that we can go talk to that old man, old man, old man, old man. But first, I want to examine some things again, and I was checking to see if. Uh, I was right with my decisions. Check the arrows. Tobin must have been using this place for archery practice, so we did make the right person an archer. This isn't much of a fence, but it still keeps the mounted soldiers out. And then Slast Fence. Gray and I might have gotten a little carried away during sword practice. So it was Gray being either a mercenary or some sort of swordsman. We went with mercenary. Let's go back to Meissen's house real quick just to check if he's home yet, because we actually never said goodbye to him. Uh, but it doesn't look like there's any evidence of him being here. That lamb is still nodding its head in the background. Let's go to the square and see if there's anyone new. Uh, I don't recognize that woman to the right. What I wouldn't give for a bottle, no, even a glass of ram wine. So we give him that ram wine. This aroma, berry leather straw. This is ram wine for true. Thank you, you've made an old man very happy this day, so you have. Here, I was saving this to go with the wine, but I want you to have it. Blue cheese with wine and my renown increased. No idea what round does. In Indignant woman. I was accosted on the way back from the capital the other day. I ran from those brigands until my sides are ready to split. So indignified, and while I'm happy to be alive, those thugs stole everything I bought. Oh, I never should have gone at all. You must go teach those ruffians some manners. I'll make it worth your while. They should really feel it, so make sure to give 20 of them a sound thrashing. That will teach them to mess the likes of me. They're holed up in the awful thieves' shrine as if they'd be anywhere else. So, she wants me to go ahead and kill 20 of them. And I was just checking, because it seems like and we've already heard this. It seems like any person that doesn't have voice acting, they give you an actual quest. Yeah, this guy had voice acting as well. Uh, so let's get the heck out of here. Greetings, all. I don't want to talk to Lucas first. Ah, of course. I suppose I needn't even have asked. No matter how quiet a village you hail from, in the hands of a capable teacher, one can become every bit as strong as a royal knight. I find that thought quite inspiring. I grew up in the borderlands as well, though not the same as yours. Some in the deliverance ridicule me for this, calling me a backwater noble. 
but unlike them, I rose mm. above my origins on my own merits. And as a result, here I stand today. You never can. So he reminds me of like a muggle from Harry Potter because he gets mocked by his own kind. Even though muggles are only halflings, I guess, but still, he's a backwater noble, which I really pissed me off. Like I just hate that kind of stuff. So it was a good, it was really nice. Um It was a nice way to immerse me into the game. It's just like a, another form of racism that's obvious in this game. Or the first form of racism that's obvious in this game. Oh, which is obvious in the world around us, but let's not get too deep. Let's go back in here because I was considering actually taking the time in the Thieves Shrine and killing 20 of them. However, uh, after doing a little bit of digging and slashing and running, uh, we have one guy here. We smack him in the chin. And after, I thought maybe that the size of the armies would increase once we got in here, since we got that quest. But the fact that it was only two people means you have to go in and out multiple times to think there's a total of three potential battles in here. And uh, the most that I think most gets like four, four. So we'd have to do this so many times. I'm considering doing it off screen. I still haven't done it because I do want to see what she does give us uh, as far as a reward. Uh, so I may be able to do it actually while this video itself is rendering out. Actually, no, because I mean, never mind. Never mind. Scratch that. Scratch it all. Gray, you can't reach the finish off. Unfortunately, I was really hoping you could. But instead, we'll give it to Faye. We'll give it to Bay Faye. Seriously, might as well change her name to Bay at this point. So many of you guys don't like Faye. It's so funny. A lot of you guys don't like her. She's like, I love her. Look at her long hair. I love it. Uh, battle complete. And then I realized, nah. We're just going to get the heck out of here in advance. Because I don't think you guys want to watch me do that like 10 times. Like, it's not like it's not like it's a difficult battle. If it was difficult, I'd be like, hey, you know what? That's fine. Let's do it. But these battles definitely were not difficult. So let's just get the heck out of this dungeon. We don't need to be in this thieves den any longer. We get a nice little save opportunity though. The 12th of Flostum. Uh, and let's see where we go. Now it's the 24th of Flostum, 12 days later. We noticed the turn wheel. I don't think I actually click it yet, but I did notice that menu option. Uh, maybe it wasn't right now. Maybe it wasn't right now, I'm not sure. But uh, I do want to try to see what other items we have. We have Ale, which is another quest item, it looks like. And we have the Blue Cheese, which increases 40 HP, or restores 40 HP. So really, really heavy restore item. Uh, none of our units even have that much HP. Uh, enter the Southern Outpost Interior. It is now the 30th of Flowstone. So this is what we took back. Let's go ahead and examine and pick some things up. We got a drinking water right here. What else do we have? Can we take this lance? We can actually take the lance. Uh, and then it looks like we've got more wine. Very nice, very nice. And that looks like everything in this room. Uh, unless there's something else on the floor by the window. No, it doesn't look like just corridor. This hall leads further into the outpost. Okay, more weapons. I bet you'd be a fight better if you didn't leave your weapons lying around. I'm taking shots right now. Taking shots right now. So we're looking for Claire. Lady Claire is the whole reason we did our rescue. Uh, we did get a lance though, so I would like to see who can actually use it. It's not gray. So what I end up doing is uh, giving the lance to Lucas because it makes kind of perfect sense. And then we'll go ahead and give the leather shield to Gray. Uh, let's move into the war room and see if we can find more, more weapons considering it's a war room. Uh, get our examine on. I think we find, yes, we find this lightning sword. And as quickly as that leather shield went to Gray, it leaves because I end up giving the leather, the lightning sword to Gray. We have ale and wine, even more beverages. We have a rusted sword, which I can't possibly see me ever using. You just gave me a lightning sword. and Now you're going to give me a rusted sword. I, I don't see the potential. I just don't. Uh, supplies, anything in here? This is mostly just junk. So nothing we can steal, unfortunately. We're fine with stealing that lightning blade, which is definitely a... A hefty item, auto, and then we do store, and then auto. Bam! Give us the lightning sword. It only has three stars, which bums me out. Uh, and I think I end up checking, like, does it only have three stars? Uh, because it's with gray or what have you. But I give the leather shield to Silk because she does need that extra defense. Uh, and let's move to the dungeon now, where Lady Claire is held. Claire. Lucas, you came to rescue me. <gasps> Why, how simply gallant of you. Now extricate me from this filthy and Here we go. Place. She's that kind of gal. She's that kind of gal. And here's by those la that little language. We have hard bread. Give me some hard bread pile of weapons. Rigo must have taken these weapons from their prisoners. What else do we have? Looks like we got some cheese over there. We got hard bread. Holy cheese! And leftover ale. 
Uh, I do see that key shining on the ground. Let's snatch that cell key. I like how it asks if we want to actually take this, even though everything else is just automatic. Open the door and she disappears! That should do Whew. it. Here we go. You're there. Oh my gosh. The boy will offer a lady his hand. Who, me? Oh, uh, sorry. Very good. <sighs> I say, it does feel good to move about again. I thought I might never emerge from that disgusting pigsty. You have my thanks. Uh... This is Alm. He recently joined us in the Deliverance. Oh! Well, how simply lovely. Welcome! I am Claire. The young man may address me as Lady Claire or Milady. Um... Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you, Milady. She's so... so from where do you proper! from a little place called Ram Village. A village? You don't say. That's one of those places with all the cows and the barns and the fields, yes? Um, yeah. Something like that. My word. I hardly ever speak with villagers. What is it like to chase cows every day? I wager they bite the nasty creatures. Hmm. And yet you aren't smothered in manure. This is not what I pictured. Right. Um... Claire, perhaps you should consider Alm's feelings in regards to his home. His... His what? Oh dear. Everyone has feelings?! It's as Clive constantly reminds me. The Deliverance is not like the Knights of Sophia. Not every soldier in our ranks is noble, but we must treat them all as equals. The peasant must forgive his lady for this gauche breach of etiquette. It's alright. The peasant, <laughs> whose name is Alm, will get over it. Oh, Alm, I can see you are truly kind. Might I ask you more about your village later? I'm ever so curious. Of course. So they probably have conversation pieces, some support I conversations. to know more about cows and pigs and such. <laughs> yes. Pigs and cows are amazing. They're amazing. Claire has joined us. So we have another member. She's going to be a handful. And it looks like Gray and her have conversation. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. Huh. Hey, what are you saying? Or maybe even Tobin. What? Nothing. I'm I'm a fan of Gray, so I kind of want Gray to get the lady. Thank you for freeing us. I thought my time had come. You're new to the deliverance, right? Then you'll want to hear this. They say Mother Milla has disappeared from her temple. Mm. That's why Regal was able to break the Divine Accord, which was supposed to prevent them from ever invading Sophia. I don't know how that is disturbing, nonetheless. It's disturbing, nonetheless. So Mila might be gone from her Divine Temple, or she might be gone from her Temple, and that's why the Divine Accord was broken. Uh, let's head back to the Worm just to see if there's another soldier in here. Doesn't look like there is. Uh, but let's take one more gander. Can I grab those swords over there? I don't think I can. I look for a good book to read, but we get nothing. No Harry Potter to be found. Let's get the heck out of the southern outpost here. We have eight units now with Claire. As we're gonna go check out Claire. Blam! There she is. She is a Pegasus Knight with a lot of luck and uh, a lot of movement, but not that much defense. Defense and skill are her two lowest stats. Let's save our game real quick because it has been a bit, a minute and a half, and I was considering ending right here, but we're like, yeah, screw it. Let's go, let's go into a battle and see what we can do. Uh, and of course now in retrospect, I wish I had ended it because I didn't realize I'd be doing post commentary, but we still have some time to go. Select our units. Looks like we can take all of our units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All eight of them are here. Bam, as you can see, they're all blades next to their names. Uh, so let's just jump into the battle. Let's do it. Now, I don't check out the, I don't check out the field first, but now we'll go check it out. Uh, we see he has three, six, eight, eight enemies. So it's eight V eight. Uh, and I do want to get Claire some action right away. She is level one. We'll put her near Alm. Maybe they have some conversation pieces. Most people, I feel like most units will have conversation pieces with the main character. Uh, let's just advance everyone else forward. I know there's the automatic potential to let everyone surround Alm, but I really, that makes me really nervous. Really, really nervous. Uh, so we're going to let Alm and Lucas be the only ones in the line of sight. Lucas is going to have to take some bows right here. Some arrows, rather. You're not taking the bows, you're taking the arrows. Uh, 
Lances are easy peasy for Alm, dealing 16 damage back. One more counterattack, and Alm will level up. But Lucas is the one gonna get bombarded right now. Already down to 16 HP. That's a lot lower than I want Lucas to go, but he is gonna snag a level up. And gains three stats? Mm hmm. I like it. I like it. I like it. Oh, and there's one over to the left, so it's actually 9v8. I get some, This is a Cavalier, which is the same thing as Fey. He has some really good stats. I wonder... I'm just realizing, I just saw that... Uh, one of my units has, has minus, like... Minus something. My Grey has minus three avoid, which might be because he's near Claire and he's distracted. Which is so weird. I hope that like it goes the opposite once the support is at A or S. I hope it's plus three instead of minus three. But I think his attack is plus a lot, unless that's just from the lightning blade. Look at that! Our first lightning blade strike! And Grey gains a level from it, showing off right in front of Claire. Which is exactly what I wanted. Four stats! That's busted! There we go. Ooh! Uh, let's go ahead and let's let's let Alm hide in the woods and do a little bit of damage right now. I feel like I've been neglecting main character Alm, but he don't care because he's gonna crit anyway and take out the Zofian army member. Gain at level up, grown to level four, and three stats is pretty good. I feel like yeah, I knew you'd go far. That was Gray, I believe. Speaking about Alm, uh, let's let. Let's let, um, what's his name? Oh my gosh, Cliff do some damage to the leader because he does so much. Look at that, 22, bring him down to four. Uh, we could actually let someone finish him right now, but we're gonna let Nosferatu go ahead. Uh, just kidding, because of course that member's gonna live with one. We're just gonna have to let Lucas go ahead and do some damage onto another army member, I believe. No, I think we're gonna go for it. Ah, uh, I was nervous about Lucas's HP getting under 18 or 16, so we're gonna go ahead and heal up with Silk. Um, but now I have to be careful, because I can leave Silk wide open for an attack if we don't do the right thing. So let's go ahead and use Lucas to take out this closest member of the army. We don't miss when we're Mr. 95. Gain 20 experience. And now that we can use Fade, we're, oh no, I remember what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna test Claire. We're gonna let Claire take out an archer. Are we? Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Come on! I think I got nervous and I just said, you know what? We'll just let Faye do it. I should have let Claire do it. I just realized how many units were around and honestly, Claire's defense is not all that great. So it wouldn't have been worth it. However, I think I think the same thing here. I'm pretty sure I don't do this. Yeah, I don't do it because there would be three members that would be able to attack me. Uh, right here, I only deal six and I take six. So it's too dangerous. I think I just move Claire over a bit and end my turn because it's just not worth the risk. I don't want to lose her right away, even if it would be getting a lot of experience from killing the uh, leader. Nah, you're not gonna do that, Shady. Think, think long and hard. Think long and hard. There we go, right there. Safe from harm's way. The leader's gonna back out to go heal. And Silk is gonna get targeted, taking 12, but actually only taking six because I healed myself in between hits. Gotta love that Silk does that. Uh, let's see if we can land this. We do land that, and Tobin only needs one more attack to level up. And fortunately, bring it on! But we, 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 we miss. But we still get the level up for missing. Do we end up only getting one stat from this? We do. Maybe that's maybe that's correspondent. We did miss to gain the level up, so maybe that's why we only gained one stat. That Cavalier is getting closer and closer, but we're gonna go ahead and use Nosferatu. Uh, Cause it'll restore HP, but I think I wanna, no, nah, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. Give me that HP back. Now let's go ahead and attack. With Lucas, he can finish him off. Let's see if Claire can. Claire can't, but we're gonna let her attack anyway for the first time. We gotta let her do something. Even if she's not getting the finishing blow, she'll at least do something. Holy, she gained us three experience. That's nuts. Uh, we see that Tobin can't really take out either of these guys, so let's let him take out the one on the bottom. Uh, but it's only a 66% chance, so I think I ended up deciding against it. No, I think I go for it. Let's go for it. Come on, Shady, don't do this. Don't let future Shady tell you how to play the game. This is how the, this is how the viewers must feel. Just kill him! I think I'm looking at swap and the fact that I can't use it while I don't have the leather shield. Because Tobin learned swap, but I don't have the leather shield. Gray is just able to one-shot everything, basically, even though it is two hits. Single attack, or I don't, see, I don't know what I would call that. Single, single interaction. I could take you out. Yeah, let's go ahead. I knew I eventually did that. Tobin, let's get it. You're gonna land this. Just kidding! 
Blind eyes over here. Go visit Shade Lady at her doctor's office and do some damage. Get some glasses, man. Watch, watch what Cliff does. One, two. Consistency, Tobin. Consistency. Let's go ahead and let's let Faye finish one of these people off. I have to. Faye is Bay. There you go. No? Oh, we're gonna let Lucas do it, okay? All right, Lucas. I do love a good fight. Uh, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna use Faye to finish off this one on the bottom. All two HP is gonna succumb to Faye's beauty. Woo! Hashtag bars. We're gonna set up to 85, so we're probably gonna sit at 99 at the end of this match. Uh, and then we're, we're, we're gonna bring um, back, I think just because we want to heal him next turn. I'm not sure exactly why we did that. And of course, Faye can't go in the trees now that she's on a horse, which stinks. Uh, I'm pretty sure we could take this, this guy out, but let's go ahead and heal up Tobin first. He is really low at critical HP. Uh, Silk only needs two more recoveries to level up, so we'll probably snag that in the middle of this battle. Gray, can you- Gray can one-shot even a Cavalier! Cavalier! I like saying Cavalier because it sounds fancier, but it's definitely wrong. Down goes the Cavalier! Off the horse! Gets knocked off the horse when he dies. I love it. Uh, and all that's left is the big boy up here. I'm pretty sure we just let Cliff take care of this. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to allow... Uh, I'm gonna bring my whole army forward, I think. Or I might just end my turn here. Because I'm talking about how just thick this mercenary gray is the lightning sword. My opponent's gonna gain five more HP, and let's go ahead and move everyone up at this point. I think I'm just focusing on gray so much. Gray, is it gray that has 87? Or I think it's Cliff. Cliff has 87 experience. No! Gray has 92 experience. So we're gonna go ahead and heal up once more, because Silk, like I said, only needs two more to level up, and that's all I'm thinking about right now, is just getting that heal going. Not even advancing my army like a scrub. Let's go ahead and heal up Tobin again, because Tobin and Silk, he's, she's bouncing back and forth between men right now. Tobin, Gray, Tobin, Gray. And uh, just because I'm interested in potentially getting both those conversation pieces going, but it doesn't look like Tobin has, wants anything to do with Silk. Tobin wants nothing to do with Silk at all. Uh, we're gonna bring Cliff up, and I'm trying to bait this guy, but he still wants to just stay there and heal. That's all he wants to do. At this point, we might as well just get as much uh, experience for Silk as we can. Especially now that we know that she can attack and heal. Uh, I want her to be one of our strongest units for sure. I have this I have this thing for like, when female units look like they shouldn't be strong, I love when they're like beasts. And Gray is gonna miss 46% chance, but he does get the level up, so it actually ended up working out in our favor. Gaining three more stats. Level, uh, I think he's level three now. We're gonna see if Tobin can do this, but it's only a 26% chance, so we're just gonna back the heck out of here and use our magic to seal this battle up. Look at this, 11 times two. Done. Easy peasy. Cliff, the commander of the elements, leveling up. What kind of stats are we gaining? It shouldn't be that much clearer, you only gained two stats. But we did learn the new magic, Thunder. Ooh. Battle complete! So that's another one that bites the dust. Who killed the most? You make it look easy, Elm. Gray did get the most kills, though. Grats to Gray on that one. GZ, GZ. Faye is so close to leveling up. Just one little sneeze and she'll do it. Oh, here we go, this guy. Mmm. Fernand. Safe. Fernand. Oh, good day, Fernand. And what brings you here? Need you even ask? When I heard you had been taken prisoner, I mounted my finest destrier and sped here at once. Sir Clive couldn't leave the hideout without its commander, of course. But I see I am a step behind regardless. Who is this rabble? Um, are you talking about us? They are not rabble, Fernand. This boy is Alm. He is the grandson of Sir Myson himself. Myson's grandson? Lucas, I demand to know the meaning of this. You were mm. ordered to find the general himself, not some mewling child. Sadly, Sir Myson was not so easily convinced. However, Alm and his friends have joined our cause in his stead. Is this some manner of folly to you, Lucas? Am I Aceborn! Such baseborn curs cannot possibly aid our cause. The deliverance has no place for brats with pitchforks. Fernand, you must listen to reason. These curs you so easily disparage fought valiantly for us. In fact, without Alm, we might not have retaken the southern outpost. I can vouch for their strength. Ugh, I hate this guy so much! I hate this guy! Carries weight with me. 
Your entire house should be hate him. the Knights of Sophia's feet. Ugh. I think that's enough. You can say whatever nasty things about me you like. I'll get over it. But Lucas deserves your respect. I beg your pardon? Do I look like a man who listens to the opinions of peasants? Then you can listen to me because I happen to agree with him. Fernand, my brother already explained this to you, did he not? Sir Clive, what exactly did he explain? Ooh, I love that. A soldier's worth is not determined by the station of his birth. If we do not all fight together as one, then we will never defeat Desay. Those are wise words, unforgettable words. Desay's forces already have us at heel, yet you would splinter us further? <sighs> you there, boy. I don't know why the audio just cut out. That's me, I take it. Out of At least for me. For Sir Clive, I will permit you to join the deliverance, but you will learn your place. Now, Claire, seeing as you are safe, you have no need for these people. Come, let us return. We must report this matter to Sir Clive at once. I will do no such thing. I'm. Fernand is a tool. That's why she doesn't want to be around you. Do as you please. Get out of here. Wow, what a jerk. I've never met someone so rude. I guess we've been spoiled by Lucas. He nearly convinced me that Swinish knights are the exception, not the rule. Gray's right. That was a swan, all right. <laughs> you poor dears must be so upset. I apologize for the way he treated you. Don't be silly. You don't have to lower yourself for a miserable human being like that. Gray's making moves! Oh, great. Here we go. What? I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, regardless, please don't think ill of Fernand. He wasn't always like this. The world changed him. Did something happen to him? <sighs> we live in trying times, and some things that transpire are difficult to put into words there we go so fernand is a tool bag and we're gonna go ahead and wrap this one up here thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed i know this episode was a little weird but show some shade and love to that thumbs up down below maybe subscribe have yourselves a fantastic day but above all else keep it shady